Good evening, everyone. We're coming in live from the second floor of Pioneer Street Market, also known as PSM. We are located inside HMR Parking Compound along the Reliance Street in the city of Mandaluyong, and we're just across TV5. And you're joining me for Kapihan Night, brought to you by Decap Coffee Republic. Uh, we're doing this every Tuesday. This is our coaching talk every Tuesday. Okay, Kapihan Night is a time where we talk about life, money, relationships, career, anything under the sun, including the sign, but normally the things that we talk about on Kapihan Night are the things that you don't want to talk about but you want to listen. Okay? So, but for tonight, I have brave souls in the house who wants to speak with me. O, oh, sabi naman ako? <laughs> Ayan, meron, meron. Okay, so in one of the coming Tuesday, just in case, okay, you will be brave enough and you want to talk about some, some sensitive issues and concern that will make you smile after my talk. Please come and join us here every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. I am Coach A. If this is the first time that you're joining me just in case we have not met before this is the first time that somebody shared with you the video or if you're watching this from a replay i am coach a i'm a certified life coach and there are two things that i do i empower people to be mentally fit so you can stay alive i also empower people okay um to live a beautiful life despite of their medical condition. Okay, my advocacy is a functional life for people uh, with special needs related to mental wellness or fitness. Another thing I do as a global partner of the Life Coach Training Institute, I do certification program for life coaching here in the Philippines. It's a face-to-face, -face, it's not online, here at the Function Hall of Decap Coffee Republic. So just in case you are interested to know more about the profession, this Saturday, Coach Maureen, okay, okay, okay. Uh, we will have a mental wellness and on Tuesday we will have okay um, coaching 101 for both those those of you who are interested to uh, to know more about our, our advocacy on mental wellness so let me repeat that okay on Saturday coach Maureen and coach Candid is gonna take the floor and talk about coaching for mental wellness okay I'm excited for that Okay, so she's doing it with Coach Kenty. Uh, we had it for the last Saturdays, Coach Sean, uh, the coaching couple, Coach Sean and Coach Tin. Hello. They're at home right now. Parent, ano daw sila ngayon? Parent mode. Okay. Uh -oh, parent muna sila ngayon. Hello, Coach Tin. Hello, Coach Sean. Okay, and then they will be back on Wednesday for... Um, Coaching 101. So just in case you are not yet ready to get certified as a life coach, but you want to know more about our profession, you can take off with Coaching 101 happening on Tuesday with Coach Dean and Coach Sean. In case you are ready to get certified, okay? Our batch 8 is coming up. July 8, 28th and August 3. So we're inviting you just in case you want to get certified and start doing our profession, the coaching profession, professionally. Okay, we invite you to join our batch 8. We have beautiful coaches in the house. Coaches, nasa mga coaches? Okay. And may mga nililigawan kami maging coach. Okay, nandito dito. Incoming coach Liz. Okay, a beaut beautiful Liz is also in the house right now. Okay, and... Just in case you want to mo know more about what we do in this place for mental wellness, for mental fitness, let me just clarify that we don't invite you when you are clinically diagnosed. Like in your physical fitness, prevention is better than cure. Okay? So we have a lot of programs, not only for individuals, but we also have programs for the corporations, for, institution, uh, for institutions, for uh, educational institutions, uh, with the signing of the mental health law, Section 24 and Section 25 speaks of uh, policies and programs in educational institutions and, and uh, in your workplace where we can we should be promoting mental fitness and mental wellness and we're supposed to be eradicating the stigma okay so just in case you are interested to know more about that program just get in touch with us so again every Saturday please come and visit us please know more about what we can do what we are doing and what we can share to you about mental wellness not only for you but for the people you love all right so next um in case you are also free on uh, Thursday, we're doing. I'm doing another coaching talk that's strengthening Thursday, 7:30. That's coaching for the soul. But for tonight, you're joining me for Kapihan Night, and our topic is indulgence and 
endurance, indulgence versus endurance, endurance versus indulgence. And when I started earlier, I asked my uh, my guests on floor to come into a mental picture to think of what they indulge on and what they endure at the present moment. Because okay, there is a direct pattern okay between what you endure and what you are indulging on. Okay, many people endure something so they can indulge on something. Okay? Or they are indulging something because they are enduring something. Okay? So there is a direct correlation. Now, before I proceed with that, let me just pull back the curtain and uh, allow you to think that there is this connotations or thinking or have you ever thought, bakit yung mga magagandang bagay kailangan kong pagtsagaan? Have you ever thought of that? Why those things that are meaningful, that are, you know, really important, I needed to, okay, toil for it, work hard for it, and worse, wait for it. Right? That also speaks for the loved ones. Okay, ang tamang tao hinihintay. Okay, hindi minamadali yan. Okay, so, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, have you ever thought, um, okay, there are things that, you don't want to do today, okay, there are days and seasons and times that you don't want to move, you don't want to do something, but you are forced to do it because it's needed, okay? Or, let, let me rephrase it, why is it that those things that are mandatory, you needed to endure? And those things that are trivial, you indulge on it. Okay, you don't want to agree with me? Okay, let's, let's see the patterns, okay? Why is it that healthy eating healthy nutritious food okay requires discipline to prepare all right and come to think of it there's so much hustle if you talk about healthy and nutritious food that as if eating a healthy and nutritious food is something you need to endure which is really great for you Think about it. I mean, think about the patterns. Wala akong ganyan. Oh, talaga. Okay. And then, the other side of the coin, why is it eating junk foods, convenient foods, food on the go, becomes very tasty to you, addictive, and easy? Think about it. Oh, bakit pag masarap, madali? Masarap daw ang bawat... <laughs> Just go. Kinabahan ako. Nagsisimula pa lang ako. <laughs> Wala naman siguro nagsisensor sa FB, di ba? Baka ako biglang maputulan dito ng linya. Kayo talaga. Okay. If we want true joy, sabi nila, you have to walk by faith, not by sight. You have to forgo instant gratification. You have to toil. You have to wait. Narinig nyo na ba yun? Oh, sige. Is there anything that is really great that happens overnight? No. Manalo sa loto, you've been taya, taya. Oh, di ba? Tumataya ka na ng matagal bago ka na nanalo. I am yet to hear someone na first time tumaya, nanalo. Yeah, even gambling, right? Oh, bago ka manalo dun, you, you would really have to spend. Think about it. Oh, here's the thing. Why is it that keeping a beautiful and a healthy body requires strong, frequent discomfort, strenuous activities, and hustles of going to the gym or taking really extra activity that will press your muscles? Who doesn't want to have a beautiful, healthy body? Everybody wants that, right? It will take some toil on you. Because you need to exercise, okay? If you take diet pills, okay? If you take um, diet supplements, whatever, how you want to call it, with all due respect, all right? You might, some people might, okay, lose weight immediately, but you see the difference in, in physical appearance is different than those who took really the rigorous work, hard work in the gym. Would you agree? Okay, so why, why is it that it takes just a minute to get a comfort and just go and be a couch potato? Mm -hmm. to just to get the couch potato. What's a couch potato? You just sit down in front of the TV, do nothing. Oh, 
Mabilis lang yun. Tanggalin natin yung TV, nakaupo ka pa rin. Hawak mo yung cellphone. Same. Kaya talaga ha. Okay. Ano? Kahit walang couch, o meron namang sofa. Ang tatalino talaga. Okay. Why is it? It takes time. It takes effort. Think about it. To pick up nourishing, intellectual, meaningful books, reading materials, both in the shelves and even in the internet. If you want really wonderful materials that it's worth reading, that is transformational, you needed to do a lot of research even by Mr. Google. But if you want for no, if you want something that's just be a toxin to your body, di ba ang bilis? O siya pareho. Mahirap yung 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 mga long lasting effect that would have great effects on you. You needed to endure. What will destroy you? You can just simply indulge in a minute. O ito pa. When you want to make yourself stick to a plan, like for example, before I sleep, I will do devotion, or I will do meditation, or I will do journaling. It takes difficulty, right? But if you decide, I will check my Facebook before I sleep and when I get up in the morning. It's easy. Can you see the pattern? Okay. If you want to learn something skillful, like if you want to learn how to play music, guitar, piano, or any skills, it takes time. But if you just want to learn a new game, it's easy. Okay, tamo na. Nag-iisip pa, coach, di ba? It takes a lot of years, a lot of money, a lot of investment to take a formal education, a full, a full, a full four-year course, master's degree, da da da. But it's easy for you to get vocational opportunities. Have you ever thought about it? The greater the joys obtained through struggle and difficulty, okay, the greater you have to endure. Why? There must be greater joy greater improvements, greater benefits, but you have to endure the waiting. Okay? Now, yung image it, that's what we talk, we, we talk about dati, eh, the instant gratification, oftentimes, they are destructive. O sige, mag-isip kayo ng madali na hindi destructive. Even if you talk about comfort food, okay, anything that is easy to grab is destructive to our health. Coach Philip, you agree? Yes. You want to take a juice? Juice? Okay. Something that you blend naturally, ostracize naturally is healthier and better for you than over-the-counter that you just pour the juice. When you prepare the shake, the milkshake, it's different when you just get it ready and you drink it as against, oh, oh Coach Candy have a message. People want healthy life and living but doesn't want to endure and choose a healthy lifestyle. Yan, kumakasa si Coach Candy. Hello, Coach Candy, we miss you here. Are you getting the, 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 the point? Why is it that we struggle about something that is really worth struggling for and worth waiting for and worth fighting for? I'm not talking about live life, okay? I'm talking about something that is for you. You know, a great career, a wonderful career, you have to fight for it. Not only in relationship, not only waiting for the loved one, not only for waiting for the right or the perfect partner. You know, truth of the matter, the right and the perfect ma partner, you don't have to struggle. They will come naturally when you're ready and the other partner and the other person is also ready and prepared. You don't even have to pursue on that. You don't even have to struggle with that. But what I'm talking here are the things that's really valuable to you, okay? Takes time, takes, takes effort, Sabi nila, takes practice, o di ba? Takes a lot of endurance from your end. But it's anything that's easy, okay? And you believe, pwede na yan. Oftentimes, it's very destructive to you. 
Okay. Lor uh, Coach Lorene, hello. And Coach Roy, we miss you here. No great things happen overnight. Tama talaga siya, Coach. Okay. Lahat po pinaghihirapan. So, why do you think is that's the case? Have you ever thought that? No. Oh. Greater joy comes from through struggle and difficulty while brief and often destructive joy sit at our fingertips. Bakit kaya ganon? Have you ever thought of that? Okay, so what is indulgence? Hindi po ito yung sa, sa, sa Catholic, ano ha, yung sa pare, sa ganun. Hindi po. We're talking about indulgence. It is your attitude of allowing yourself to enjoy something. Something enjoyable. Okay? And many times, when you talk about indulgence, you sit in there doing it beyond what is required or beyond what is acceptable. You know, eating sweets is not indulgence. Eating every minute sweets and everyday sweets is indulgence. Okay? So, I mean, come on. Sweets are created for something. If you take a slice of cake, at a, you know, something to, to boost you up for, for something, for a day, for a week, that's great. But kung every day naman, hindi ka nabubuhay ng walang consumptions of overdose and overflow ng lahat ng sweets, what happens to you? Think about it. Okay? Addiction. When you talk about endurance, you don't like it. Because it requires pain, it requires effort, it requires what? Diligence. It requires discipline. Okay? But you know what? Endurance is actually our ability, our ability to exert, okay, extraordinary efforts and remain active and performing and functional over a long time of resistance, okay, difficulty, Pains and trial. That's what you talk about. What, that's what you call endurance. Talk about the triathlon, the duathlons, the swimmers, you know, the runners. You talk about endurance to matagal. Sa Tagalog, sabi nila. If you have endurance, to matagal ka. And to matagal ka sa hirap, sa sakit, sa pagod. You talk about endurance. So here, we're talking about anything that you want that would really have great value to you would always require your endurance and not just indulgence. So, what do you need to endure for something that you really want? Or better, the question is, maybe your question is, how do you endure? Naisip nyo ba yon? How do you endure? Okay? Indulgence is easy. I don't even have to teach you. Correct? Indulgence. I want a cup of coffee. Grab a cup of coffee. I want a bar of chocolate. Get a chocolate and it's everywhere. Come on. Unless you tell me something that you want to indulge and that indulgence is difficult. Then that's no longer indulgence. Because anything that is difficult for you becomes endurance, right? Requires endurance. So anything that you want to indulge, easily it's within your reach. You're getting the point? Oh, unless you eat, there's something in your mind right now na, hindi coach, ito ang indulgence ko, mahirap siya. Hindi yan indulgence. Because you need to endure. Correct? Okay, now, here's the thing. While we don't want endurance, it is needed in our everyday life. It is. If you want to achieve something, okay, if you want to be better, if you want to get promotions, okay, if you want to win in life, you need it. Because everything that we need and we want to keep and worth keeping would always take time and would always require challenges. Either we challenge ourselves or somebody challenge us. We talk about endurance in athletes and we see that their endurance or endurance nila has, has something to do with every area of their lives. An athlete would not only endure the physical training, but would also endure the right food. Would also have to endure the right amount of sleep. Would also have to endure the right lifestyle. Think about it. Okay? Now, here's the thing. The problem with endurance is, in our lives, if it is, if it is a physical activity as a sport, we can choose the challenge. We can choose the training. 
we can choose what we want to do. However, in life, we cannot choose our battles. That comes our way. We only choose what to pick, but what is available is given to us. Would you agree? We choose the battles, but the challenges, no. It just comes there. And whatever battles you pick, there are challenges there that you cannot define. You can have it at the top of your mind, at the back of your mind, whatever it is, but truth of the matter, when you pick that fight, when you pick that battles, you don't know the challenges that, we, that goes with it. You don't even know what hardship. Like for example, I want that kind of job. I want that kind of body. I want that kind of relationship, right? You really don't know the kind of hardships, the setbacks that you will have to go through, okay, unless you're there. And sometimes, you get surprises of fatigue, stress, tension, depression, name about, name all the adverse conditions, okay, that you will have to face for something that you really want. That's where endurance comes. You needed now to endure because that's something that you want in your life. And those things, you cannot choose. Would you agree? Unless there is something that you, you can tell me, uh, if I want this, I can define exactly, no? Like in running, like those people going through a marathon, it's not about running. Running is the easy part. It's the easiest part. Staying in the course is the hardest. Agree? That's perseverance. Getting a job is easier even if you fret about the interview. Oh, that's the easiest part. The hardest thing is the moment you get hired, and now you start working on things, right? Keeping your job, okay? <laughs> Making money out of the job. You needed to endure everyday pressure and stress for you to get regularized. And the moment on a regular cut, then the next pressure comes in. Do you choose that? No, you don't. Oftentimes in life, we arrive at a place na hindi natin pinili. Would you experience that? You just want a job, but you don't want the hassle of the job. Agree, disagree. You want promotions. But when you are faced with what you needed to lay down for that promotions, for that money that you want, here comes the difficulties. Correct? There's something I need to read very long from Coach Roy Ragasa. Okay, great career, great relationship, both needs more time. More familiarization, more acceptance, more learnings, more heart, more endurance. Agree, coach? Okay? The gap between the start and greatness will be filled by endurance. Well said. Oh, pala para natin si Coach Roy. Okay? If you want to make a comment to us, okay, please let us know if you're there. Especially if the audio is out, please let us know. Hindi nyo na kami naririnig. Okay? There are technical difficulties are not under our control. Please let us know if we're not, uh, uh, we're no longer there with you with the voice. Okay? And you can only see my face. Okay? Now, how many of you here got dreams? Who got a dreams? Dreams. Okay, I'm not talking about dreams when you're sleeping, okay? I'm talking about dreams that you want to achieve in life. Your vision, your goals, right? Okay, anong difference? Yung dreams, wala po kayong ginagawa. Right? Okay? Yung goals, may gusto kang gawin, okay? And it be, uh, yung vision, may gusto kang gawin, at nagiging goal yan pag nagtrabaho ka na. Pero yung gusto mong ma-achieve, na pinapanaginipan mo lang, kaya siya panaginip. Kasi gusto mo lang maging piloto, sabi nga ni Preach, pero wala siyang gagawin, panaginip yun. Okay? But now, if he set his vision, the next will be goal. I have to do this, I have to do that. Now, it becomes your vision. Now, you're starting to work on the goals to achieve the vision. You're getting the point? Okay. Some people see, I ask that, eh, what's the difference between the vision and the dream? Pag gising ka daw vision, pag tulog ka, dream. Okay. Hindi po ganun yun, ha? Okay. Uh, ulitin natin, who got the dreams? Dreams. Things you want to achieve. Bakit hindi vision coach? Eh kasi minsan hindi mo pa naman alam na vision siya pero pinapangarap mo, gusto mong marating. Tama? O, oh, gusto kong mag-travel ng buong mundo. Panaginip yon, Okay? Pag na-visualize mo na ilang bansa, di ba? Hindi ko nga alam kung kaya mo talagang i, -i Wala ka nang gagawin. Magka-travel ka lang all over the world. Tama? Okay. You've got dreams, right? Okay. Why do you want the dreams? It presents happiness. Correct? It presents great things. 
it presents inspiration. Correct? Meron bang gusto mong managinip ng isang bagay na traumatic? <laughs> Nightmare po yun, hindi dream. Okay? Anything that you dream about is beautiful. Right? When you think about your dreams, you smile. Think about it. Meron ba talaga nananaginip ito na nakakatakot? Bangungot po talaga yun. Okay? When we dream about something, there's so much passion into it. There's so much joy into it. There's so much inspiration into it. However, when we start putting action into it, now we need the inner strength. Now we start discovering what we don't have. Now we start understanding the reality of what we needed to work on. And now the reality of endurance comes to play. And now the dreams become a nightmare. And you don't want to do about it. Okay. However, in life, the only way to it is through it. There's no way. Yeah, the only way to it or so something is through it. You just have to pass through it. Because nothing happens by imaginations. Nothing happens by a dream. Nothing happens overnight and nothing happens magic. Okay? You know, even love, I don't believe that love is magic. I don't. You know, it requires endurance and it requires effort. You have to take care of yourself. You have to make time for it to grow. So, it's endurance. Okay? Falling in love might be the beginning and the start and the spark, but keeping in love is the hardest. It's difficult. Okay? Notes to singles. The easiest part to happen is for you to fall in love, but to keep yourself in love is difficult. And sometimes you have to understand, are you in love or are you in love with the thought of being in love? Yes, yes? Singles in the house? Okay. How do you know this is love? I always ask my client, if you start experiencing emotional fatigue, would you still stay in the relationship? What is emotional fatigue? Think of a moment. You will never be excited every day of your life as excited when you start fell in love. Walang ganun. Every day, ganun ang emosyon mo. Di namatay ka naman. Walang ganun. Okay, now. Who wants a business? Who wants a, a free time? Or you want, ano tawag nyo doon? A control over time, right? Okay, you want it? Okay. But do you want the endurance, the, the toiling? Do you want the hard work of laying down the comfort of your paychecks every 15 and 30? Do you, can you lay it down and say, all right, I will sacrifice. Endurance na yun. So when you don't start, you, you, the moment that you start receiving nothing in your ATM on a regular 15 days, 15 and 30, may panic mode ka na. When you are an employee, if the sales doesn't sell, you who cares? You get your paycheck. If you own your business, if you own your company, if the company doesn't sell, <laughs> you cannot sleep. Can you endure that? Correct? Okay. So how do you really endure? Is it really something that you can practice? Can you really endure by practicing? Para din po ba tong sports that practice makes it perfect? Is there anyone here that says, I want to live just to endure? Meron ba? Ayaw nila akong pausapin. Sana po nandito kayo. May choice ba? Okay. Haruki Murakami. Okay. Sabi niya, ang ganda nung sinabi. Haruki Murakami. Okay, quoting him. Pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. Oh. Ulitin ko. Ulitin ko, pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. Meaning, you can enjoy the pain. Ah, ayaw niyong maniwala, ah. Okay. We're talking about endurance here. We're talking about how, to, how can you get through it. Because sabi nga, the only way to it is through it. So that's what we're gonna be talking about tonight. I'm just starting. Sabi, hindi pa pa nalagsimula, hindi pa ngayon pa. <laughs> Intro nga ba? Anong intro? Taba ba yun? Pagkatapos kong masaktan, coach, nag-intro ka pa lang. Ano ba naman? 
Oo. Oh, Oo. Oh. Oh, oh. Nandito pa lang ako. Ha? Marami kang i-endure din. Mabilis lang to. Kayo talaga. The only way to it is through it. Okay? Pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. Okay. Great things takes time. You've heard that. And I'm sure you are resolved. You see, the only thing, the first thing that you must agree and decide for yourself. I always do this in coaching and I always say this to my client. The beginning of something is your determination. You have to agree and believe. Same is true with endurance. You've got to be determined, okay, that great things takes time. So you've got to be determined that time, okay, is constant. Time is not under your control. Time is not under you. It's not under you. And you don't control time. Hindi, coach, kaya ko magplano. May time management. Talaga, ikaw namatay ka bukas, hindi mo kontrolado. Yeah. That's the greatest test. I'll tell you, the, the, the reason why you, you don't control time, you don't know what's happening every minute. You might set everything perfectly. Something happens with your family. Something happens to you. Lo and behold, we don't pray for your accident, but something unusual could happen, weather and everything. Time is not under your control. So what you needed to do to begin with is to be determined that great things happens what? Over time. It takes time. So what is it to do with building endurance? Because when you are determined, okay, to make well in anything, and you make that your vision, your purpose, your focus, okay, you will understand that time is gold. Okay? While you are making rooms for the unexpected, when you understand that time is gold, lagi nyo narinig yung bata pa tayo, di ba? Common na ano yun eh. Uh, ano ba yun? Motto, time is gold. But when you understand that time is gold, you will not lose a moment. Okay? You will not lose time doing things that is not important towards the things that you want to achieve in life. You will not lose sight of the finish line. The hardest thing is, do you know the finish line? Do you know the finish line? Two years from now, three years from now, five years from now, where would you be? If you don't know the finish line, you cannot be determined to be in the finish. Have you seen a runner na hindi niya nakita yung, yung race track? Saan ka tatakbo kahit saan? So, magsabog. Kaya nga, may, start, may starting and my finish line. So, do you know your finish line? Okay, anything can happen during the race. Endurance takes you to the finish line. But where is the finish line if you have not seen the finish line? And in life, what is your finish line? Your goals, your visions, your dreams. The things that you want to achieve, the relationship that you want to have, the kind of family that you are building. And all of those things comes at the finish line, not at the beginning of the line. And to run from the beginning of the line, beginning of the race, to the end of the race takes time. And it takes endurance. Next, yan. Have you ever felt bored in something that you want to achieve? Na-board ka na ba, kapatid? Sino dito ang na-board na over some things na gusto mo? Sino? Oh, na-board ka na, di ba? Okay. What, what do you need to do with that? Okay? You have to have the grit or the courage, the resolve, the inner strength that no matter what happened, you will stay in the course. Okay? Um, grit, G-R-I-T, trumps talent. It's a talent. Yung, yung meron kang grit over things that you believe that you will run through it, it's a talent. Why? Because things can be boring at times. And for some, 
the waiting could be long and boring, okay? But if you have the grit, you will stay on the course. Meaning, despite being boring, the pain, and not seeing the rewards. So, isip nyo ba yun? Pag tumatakbo ka po, wala pa namang rewards yun eh. If you are building the business, walang rewards. If you are building your career, wala pang rewards. Meron ba? Wala. Walang rewards. Okay? But when you have greed as your talent, then you will see that at the end of the tunnel, not only there's light, but at the end is the finish line. And that's where you get your price. Okay? How many of you have, okay, a ready action point that you, you do when you feel bored about your dreams, about the things that you are waiting. Anong ginagawa nyo pag na-board na kayo? Kasi walang lumilitaw eh, wala kayo nakikita. Diba? You, you imagine that there are things na limang taon, apat na taon. Tama? So it's like even in pregnancy, nine months before lalabas si baby, there are mothers na nabuboard. Totoo naman yun. So anong ginagawa mo? while waiting for those dreams to come true, for those visions to be a reality, for those goals to be achieved, and boredom, hit, boredom, boredom hits you, what do you do? To go back? You go back to your whys. You go back to your purpose. Correct? But how many people will just simply lose it because they have not seen what they've been waiting for? You know the problem with life? We don't know the timetable. No one knows that. Nobody knows when your dream will come true. Correct? You have a guest here who wants to be a pilot. Okay? If you live to endure, <laughs> sadista if you endure in... Talaga naman si coach. Okay? If you live to endure daw, sadista ka. No, no, no. You have to have the endurance eh. You have to have the endurance. Like... You want to be a pilot, finishing, applying school is not yet the end. It's just the beginning. Inendure mo na yung pag-aaral mo, yung kasusunod nun, yung practice mo, di ba? pag apply mo, and the moment that you're there, inendure mo ulit yun. You see? It's a process. Continuously. So, you continuously have to have that grit over your pain, Endure, enduring all the waiting time na wala kang makitang rewards. If you are going to a college education at the minimum of four, four years, may nakita ka bang reward dun sa four years? Hindi mo naman pwedeng sabihin, pwede bang bigay mo na diploma ko? Tatapusin ko to ng four years. Wala naman ganun. Correct? Where do you get your diploma? Sa dulo. Alright? Now, next. Uh, have, you, have you heard the word Sisu? S-I-S-U Ah, so yung Sisu, kayo talaga Sisu Sisu is a um, Finnish word Finnish, from Finland Finnish word that sums up your determination your bravery your guts, your resilience your perseverance and hardness Hardiness, yung lahat-lahat Sabi nga nila, Sisu begins with perseverance and greet ends. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo lang na siya tinotolerate. Pag may sisu ka na, ibig sabihin nun, tinanggap na ng pagkatao mo. Yan. Ako nyo yun? Kasi pag greet, sinusustain mo lang. When you get to the sisu mode, S-I-S-U, tinanggap na ng pagkatao mo. Okay? You have already there, floating through the difficulties, floating through the challenges, floating through all the toiling, and you know it will be finished, you just don't know when. Ang hirap, ano? So from greet to sisu, mahirap yun. Correct. Okay? So dalawa pong stage yun. The moment you get determined, ang unang stage po nun, may trouble ka pa dyan. Kasi binibear mo lang. Alam mo yung, chinachaga ako lang to. Right? But when you get to the sisu mode, hindi mo na siya chinachaga. It's already part of who you are. It's already part of your system. And now you are determined. You are already resilient. So pag may nangyari, balik lang. Okay? Alam mo mga resilient, Filipinos are resilient eh. Diba? So pag may nangyari, balik lang. Bounce back, bounce back, bounce back. Okay? 
Pag nasa grit mode ka pa lang, right after the setback, humihinto ka. Mahaba yung tulala mode. But when you are ready on the CISO mode, setback, balik. Setback, balik. Setback, balik. Okay, so nasa CISO mode ka ba? O nasa grit mode muna? Nasaan ka, kapatid? You getting the point? Okay, now, when you pass through that, nandun ka na sa CISO mode, okay ka na, okay? Okay? Then, that's the only time you get to the fourth. What's the fourth? Responsibility. Would you agree with me that you are a product of your decisions and not your circumstances? Let me repeat that. We are a product of our decisions and not our circumstances. Circumstances are uncontrollable. But in every circumstances, we make a decision. And how we make the decision, the quality of decisions, and what decisions are we making will be defining the output and the experience that we have over the circumstances. We are responsible to everything that happens to our life. Okay? Well, it's not easy. Most of the time, it's complicated. But you and I have a choice. It's either you put through the work to achieve what you want, or just say, forget it, I don't want, I don't want to do it, forget about it, I'm happy, I'm contented to stay where I am. It's a choice. A lot of people, given all the opportunities in life, but they're still not making through the life because they don't want to endure what they needed to endure. May kakilala po ba kayong ganon? Sana po hindi kayo yun. Okay? You are a product of your decisions, not your circumstances. That's why when people say, I am like this because my parents are like this, because I was not given this, da, 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 that's not true. Okay? Same people can go through the same circumstances, can go through the same challenges, but would have a different impact based on the decisions they have taken and they have made. Next. Okay. Ito ako, paborito ko tong quote ni Snoopy. Kilala niyo si Snoopy? Parang umiti na bang kayo? Oh, Snoopy. Sabi ni Snoopy, keep looking up because that's the secret of life. Oh. Sabi ni Snoopy, keep looking up. Di ba si... Oh, di... Oh, kita nyo na tawa. Kaya naalala niyo si Snoopy? That's why. Oh, now you know bakit si Snoopy lagi nakaganon? Oo. Oh, oh, kasi yun ang sabi ni Snoopy. Keep looking up. That's the secret to life. Why? Always look for that... Okay, the fifth... Okay, is the positivity. Okay? I, I, it's not being positive. It's the positivity over things. Meaning... You can always look into the silver lining. You can always look at what is great, what is beautiful over things. Okay? It's not saying, grabe na aksidente na nga ako, maganda pa ba yun? Eh, buhay ka eh, di maganda yun. Yeah. Okay? Nanakawa na nga kami, maganda pa ba yun? Eh, buhay ka. Nasunugan kami, walang natira. Diba? Some people would say that, but you're alive. You're getting the point? Na walang ka ng trabaho, buti hindi ka na amisya. Hindi, pwede ka ulit mag-apply. You're getting the point? You've got to be able to see the silver lining. Why, why do you call it silver lining? Because many times you look for the gold. Correct? In every situation, so you look for the gold. But you see, in every situation, there's still the silver lining. If you cannot see the gold yet, then find the silver. At least you find something instead of finding a big rocks that you just put into your head. Yes, Coach Philip? There's always beautiful things somewhere out there. Okay? And when I talk about silver lining, think about it. When you talk about silver lining, you're talking about almost just an inch. It's just a lining. Many times we look and we go through life, we're looking for that one big thing, the gold thing, and you just forget and you miss that the whole thing is full of silver lining. Making sense? Making sense? 
positive outlook is very powerful and will play a big part, a big role if you want to endure through the things you needed to endure to achieve your goals and to get your dreams come true. Okay? What is it there of looking up? When you look up, you see what? What do you see when you look up? Sky. At home, what do you see? Ceiling. You know what? What, what does it bring to you? You know what does it bring to you? That there are things that exist but you cannot achieve and you cannot touch but it still benefits you. Let me repeat that. There are things that you can see, okay? But you cannot reach and you cannot achieve but it still benefits you. The works of great men and women may not be your works but it benefits you. You've got cars, you've got MRTs, you've got all the things that we enjoy today, the cell phone, all right? We are not Steve Jobs, but you are enjoying the product of his work. It's like the ceiling. It's like the sky. You know, many times, you wanted to achieve the sky and the ceiling without seeing that you are already benefiting from the ceiling and the sky. Oh, sino dito nakahawak na ng sky? Kahit yung nakasakay tayo ng aeroplano, hindi natin hawakan yung sky. Subukan mo. Buksan yung bintana sa tayo pinulot. At times, we are above the sky, right? When on the airplane. Do you touch the sky? No. Skies are great. When you are down there, you can get the sky with all the, the blue sky, the calmness, da 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 Do you own the sky? Do you own the sky? No. But you love it. And you're getting the benefits of the sky. That's why Snoopy said, that's the secret of life. Just keep looking up. Just keep looking up. Make sense? Yes. Doon po talaga galing yun, hindi natin naitindihan. No? Keep looking up. Bakit ba? Okay? Great things need not be yours as long as you get the benefits. Let me repeat that. Great things need not be yours as long as you get the benefits. If you have all the money but you don't have the benefits of money, forget about the money. You own all the money as long as I get the benefits of money. Comfort? I don't need to see the money, right? You don't need to see the money as long as you have the benefits of the money. Making sense? Making sense? And finally, oh yeah, tapos na. Pwede na tayong huminga. <laughs> Sabi nila, di ba ba itong matatapos? I always say this to my clients and my class. Practice makes it perfect. Hey, be kind to yourself, one step at a time, one day at a time. One more step, one more time, one more. You fail, try it again. You can practice endurance every time, anywhere, with anyone. So you can endure the person next to you. You can practice endurance with the food that is not so tasty, right? Instead of you choosing to keep complaining over the thing that doesn't really come naturally well, because ang taas ng standard mo, kaya namimiss mo na yung buhay. Ang sarap ng ulam, pero parang masyadong malambot yung kanin, sira na yung dinner mo. Mabait sana itong kaibigan ko, kaso ko ripot. O di hanap ka ng kaibigan na hindi ko ripot. Hindi naman mabait. Pili ka. Namili ka. Kuripot ba o mabait? Anong gusto ko? Eh, hindi magkasama coach. Kaya, madipili ka. Try to think about it. If you push for perfection, you miss the blessing of what you have. Truth of the matter, you are not perfect. Nobody is. But every day, if you keep practicing one more step, one more time, one more strategy, you keep better and that feeling of getting better is already leading you to the experience of perfections. However, many people don't do this because you are very hard with yourself. You try and you fail, you don't want to try again. You try one more time, I failed. I will never be able to make it. I have failed a thousand times. Well, some people failed a seven thousand times. But they keep fighting. 
your mom keep fighting until the end, Doge. Remember? Yeah. The problem with endurance is we believe that we have to overdo things. Endurance comes gradually. And so yung mga sadista at galit sa sarili, hindi po endurance ang tawag dyan. Yan ang sadista ka. Let me repeat that. The problem with endurance is we want it immediately by overdoing it. You see? You overdo things, you're still not making it. You're not making it and you're making your life miserable. The key to endurance is allowing it to come gradually, naturally, one step at a time, one day at a moment. Because everything keeps practicing, needs practicing, it needs time. Lahat ng kailangan i-practice, kailangan ng pagpapractice, kailangan ng panahon. Kaya nga nag-practice eh. Kung, eh, kung overnight, hindi eh, huwag ka na mag-practice. Correct? Okay, so, no matter what journey you are taking in right now, no matter what part of your life you're here right now, believe that it starts with your determination and your commitment. You have to commit. Commitment is your vessel, endurance is your fuel. Many people commit, but they don't finish the race because they cannot endure, and they will not endure, and they refuse to endure. Sabi ko nga, it's one thing to have the heart to help. It's another to have the will to help. Puro ka heart, wala ka namang ginagawa. Actually, wala ka kasi good power, tumulong. Commitment is your vehicle. Endurance is your fuel. You can have all the commitment that you want, but if you don't want to endure, and you do not have the endurance, you're not making it. Walang fuel eh. Correct? Tama? There is no way out of endurance if you want great things in life. However you manage your resources, however you plan your time, however you want it happen, if you don't want to endure, nothing will come to reality. Everything takes patience, perseverance, and that holistic requirement of patience, patience, perseverance, waiting, hardship, and everything that are all tuck in to endurance. You have to endure every step of the way. You say no to it, then life says no to you because nothing happens in an instant. Coach, there's miracle. I do believe in miracles. But you know, when miracles happen, it takes responsibility. Yeah. If, you are, if you are sick today, you receive the miracle of healing, if you will have to do the hard work now to keep your health. Agree? If you are suffering from cancer, lo and behold, God healed you miraculously, the next thing is, you will have to endure good food, good rest, good sunlight, and good of everything. So even miracles, when you receive it, takes endurance to be at your hands every day of your life. I don't know about you, but one thing I'm sure, without endurance, there's no joyful living, and you cannot experience the fruitfulness of your calling and your destiny. Between today and your purpose and calling lies what can you endure. You refuse endurance, then life says goodbye. All right. Good night, everyone. This is Coach A. I hope you enjoy the night and you enjoy the learnings. This is a free talk. I love you all, and I just pray and hope that you share at least one of the thoughts. Good night. Coach A here.